right, so I wanted to support my partner's claim, um, being the fact that the other countries that have already in, implemented the opt-out system aren't as successful as they're made to seem. Um, according to The Economist, an article that was in The Economist, um, other factors are obviously in play because in Spain, donor rates did not begin to rise significantly until an effective national transplant infrastructure had been set up and backed up um, publicity to educate the public was put into place. And it was a full decade after the opt-out system was put in place that their rates even increased to the amount that they are right now. So um, basically it's saying that even after these rates were um, increased, it wasn't until an entire decade after so it's basically saying that the publicity and educating the public was the main reason why they had their rates increase, which is something that I wanted to bring up about our current system. Um, the public debate, the public debates that have been put in place about organ donation have already raised the number of donors um, by 17% over the past year, and that means that there are another million potential donors in our current system right now. So it's not saying that we need to completely put a new structure into place, it's just saying let's improve upon the structure that we already have right now, because we're not even that far behind the countries that have the opt-out system with our current system. If we improve upon what we have by educating and putting publicity out about organ donations, we can be just as effective as the opt-out systems without offending anybody or um, making just assumptions about certain people that don't want to have their organs donated. Um, so there are a certain number of religions that are opposed to organ donation, and if a person of that faith died unexpectedly, and they did not have a family member present, their organs would automatically be taken from them, um, which is obviously not fulfilling the wishes of what the person wanted. Um, in the Shinto religion, the dead body is considered impure and dangerous, and thus quite powerful. So injuring a dead body is looked at as a crime in their culture, and it is difficult to consent, obtain consent from the families of the organ donations if they are not present when the person died. Um, so if it was in an unexpected death, they wouldn't even look into the religion. They would just assume that this person didn't want their organs taken from them. Um, and the relationship between the dead person is and their afterlife is also very significant in that religion. And also the Amish religion, um, the consent of donation is not something that they look at as positive in their religion. And they believe that since God created the human body and that it is God that heals and the dismembering of the body is looked at as a negative thing for them. And um, while these aren't the leading religions in our country, they're still a significant amount of people. So we can't start looking at it as just because it's small, it doesn't have purpose. When you start doing that, you cause uprisings because we all know from our country's history that even a small population and an underdog can rise up. So when we start just completely looking over that certain type of people, they're going to have a problem with it. And um, um, another ethical question that was raised was the real difficulty of the proposal to be put in place. Um, this has already been tried in US states like Virginia and Texas. And people who were pressured into choosing if they would give their door, if they were going to give their organs or not, um, they typically answered no, and also their families answered no as well. So, um, and that is a study done with the donation of human organs from the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. And um, with uncertainty about what the deceased wishes were be, um, it's not increasing the rates by anything, it's just leading at the same answer that's usually no. So it's not increasing it at all, it's just removing the organs from people who clearly didn't want them taken away. And um, like my partner said, you only want to use organs from people that want to donate. Because I'm sure other people that had their organs, um, that were given the organ, wouldn't want to know that this was taken from somebody who didn't want their organs to be taken away. So um, in an article um, called Presumed Consent, 
I'm going to cut you off. It's five minutes. I'm not sure. If we have it. Did you have the time up signal? Sorry. That was four minutes. You've gone five minutes and you're supposed to go four. Sorry to cut you off.